A Farmingdale High School student fractured her spine and neck when a charter bus crashed on the way to band camp last month. Today, CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan was there when the 15-year-old reunited with the medical team that saved her life. Thank him. He's the reason why I'm here today and why I'm walking. Tears streamed from 15-year-old Audrina Crescido, reunited with a medical team that saved her life. If the bone is fractured so much and it dislocates, you can become paralyzed from the waist down. Uh, she's very lucky. Doctors stabilized Audrina's spine with screws and rods, treated blood clots, and a neck fracture suffered in September when Farmingdale's marching band charter bus rolled down an embankment. It kind of swerved and then swerved again. And then after that, I think I blacked out. It's been a long, long uh, four weeks. <laughs> when I saw the bus in, in the ravine, I, I, I was c completely devastated. The Farmingdale School family soon learned the band director, Gina Pelletieri, and retired teacher Beatrice Ferrari were killed, dozens of children injured. And then as it was rolling, I got launched to the other side of the bus, so I got launched out the window. When Adrina, a junior brigade member of Farmingdale's fire department and aspiring EMT, finally regained consciousness, she knew not to move. There's kids panicking, so I told them to calm down, told them to stay still. More heroics when flight medics arrived and realized the gravity of this situation airlift. Adrena from Orange County to Cohen Children's Medical Center. At first, I refused to get on that helicopter. I've never flew. That was my first time, and I knew I had to get through it. She said she visualized Ms. Pelletieri at the pearly gates. Ms. Pelletieri was at those gates, and she said, No, I'm not letting any of my students. I wanted to give up, I have to be honest, but I got through it. One month after the crash, doctors here continue to treat six of Audrina's classmates less seriously injured. They are back in school. Audrina plans to join them as soon as she's healed. I know no one's going to get over this, but if, as long as we stay together, I think we got this. They're officially Dalers. From New Hyde Park, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Uh, the emotions are raw and real and will be for a long time. Audrina says she dreams of taking to the field next year with and marching with her band and playing her clarinet. Wish her the best. Absolutely.